my name is Sophie and just like any woman I love bringing up the past but today I want to take a massive info dump on a piece of medieval theatre that I think you're absolutely going to love. Yellow bellies and Lincolnshire sausages from across the world are well aware of Lincoln's impact and influence during the medieval era, such as the Magna Carta and, of course, the cathedral, which was the shard of its time. But I do wonder how many of you are aware of the Lincoln mystery plays? Well, probably not so many, because the clue is kinda in the name. Well, let's go find out. Tonight I'm watching a performance of one of the mystery plays here at Lincoln Cathedral. But first, the ads. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. The Lincoln Mystery Plays began way back, and I mean way back, before Maccas, Daleks, Queen Victoria not being amused, and way before Henry VIII made eating turkey legs look cool. During the 10th century, monks had a major issue. Hardly anyone could read. In fact, the majority of the population were more visual learners, but they needed to educate their congregations on the Bible. So how would you share a story without reading pen from paper? Together they prepared their Oscar speeches and started performing the Bible stories instead. Over time, these performances were being produced by the medieval guilds as community drama productions. And these stories included basically everything, from the moment Eve bit the apple right up until when the world bites the dust. Sadly though, a lot of the plays from around the country, such as in places around Yorkshire, Coventry and in Lincolnshire, were lost in the Reformation era. Until post World War II, when they were resurrected like Christ himself, and brought back to life around cathedrals across the country. The Lincoln Mystery Plays in particular were back in 1969 and took off much like Armstrong did to the moon and have been entertaining audiences every four years since and formed as a charity in the late 1970s. It's a community theatre project like no other. Much like the original plays, the cast and crew are made up of passionate volunteers with a shared desire to inspire the local community through theatre. Here's what the cast of 2022 had to say. Okay, well, I joined in 2000, and I just, I'd just i seen them a few years before, and I just thought they were wonderful. Well, I'm, I'm new to it. <laughs> <laughs> so I saw the Lincoln Mystery Plays about six years ago, and this is my first year. And what drew me to it, I think, was just the idea that it's amateur and sort of a no great expectations of you, so it doesn't require you to be an actor or performer. Mm -hmm and you can just be yourself and just enjoy it. I think that's what I've got out of it. There's more fun involved in your, than your average nativity or crucifixion. I think that's a really important point, <laughs> is that it's the fun, isn't yes. it? We've, we've been rehearsing for months and months and months. It's the energy is yeah. coming together. It's come together yeah. and we're now starting to relax and enjoy it. Uh, and it's working, so it's great. It's, it's fun, it's nice to meet new people and to be a part of something like that, I think, yeah. And it only happens every four years and it's, it's been delayed, so this is actually six years since the last one, so it's quite special. There, I mean, there are loads of good things, like lots of the local groups <laughs> all interlink with each other and support mm. each other and we go and see other companies' productions and they come and see ours. Yeah, you know, we're connected to like groups, like a little network. Lots of things just really blossom. We support and look after each other. It's an enrichment, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It's definitely an enrichment. Yeah. And lockdown and the pandemic taught people that any community involvement is really, really vital to survive. And, and that's got to be a good thing. Come on down! Come on, yeah. down. Come on down! Yeah. Come on, go, go for it! it. <laughs> yeah, we're waiting for, for you. Don't be worried if you're not an actor. Don't worry about it if you're yeah. worried about getting on. Just come and have fun. And support you. Yeah. Enjoy it. Well, it's been a fantastic night of drama, action and suspense. Coming here and watching the volunteers perform has been magical. More fun than having no budget in a sweet shop. But by the time you've seen this video, the plays for 2022 have sadly finished. Don't panic though, stay in your seat and pull out your mobile phone because you have an opportunity to be a part of this wonderful and historical experience. If you're ever interested in doing what the monks did, other than getting pickled, why don't you see what community theatre can do for you? Now, speaking of getting pickled, I'll see you at the pub. Bye, thanks for watching!